Thanks for clicking on this video. This is Meek. I have a very informative but quick video for you today. Okay. Um, some people may run into their audio unit instruments and GarageBand um, not showing up. And I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a few easy steps. Okay. So I'm going to just demonstrate the issue that you may be having. That's why you clicked on this video. So down here where the plugins are, I have an E piano, you know, on my track. Usually you can change this, okay? It usually have, it has arrows and you can choose um, a different instrument while you're already in this window. But you can see I can't even do that. Also here where you can choose, um, you know, effects, uh, plug-in effects. If I click there, there's no AU, you know, instruments and effects available, okay? And I'm going to show you why. All right, so what you need to do to fix this is, first of all, close out a garage band. All right, and I'm back in this window, the startup window, okay? So what you need to do is you need to go to GarageBand and you need to go to Preferences, all right? And it's probably going to be on General, but go to Audio and MIDI. While you're on Audio and MIDI, it's going to have the Instruments and Effects option, okay? And Enable Audio Units needs to be checked in order for your audio units to show, okay? Enable the use of audio units, plugins, in your GarageBand projects, okay? And if you unclick it, disabling audio units may result in inaudible tracks. Do you wish to disable all audio unit instruments and effects in your project? Continue. All right, so you don't want to do that, so you want to click that. You're going to exit out, and then we're going to see, did it fix our issue? So we're going to go to Empty Projects, choose. All right, we're going to choose a software instrument, create that there. Okay, we're going to go to plugins. All right, now if we go to E Piano now, we can choose to change our instrument. You see the AU generator, AU instruments. All right, you can choose all of these different options. And you can also choose audio unit effects, okay, from different places, even Apple's audio unit options for their effects and things like that. And that is how you fix that issue. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and check out my other GarageBand videos. More to come soon. 